7 o'clock, KFI Los Angeles, more stimulating talk radio. Think of KFI as the new talk station. KFI Los Angeles, more stimulating talk radio. California taxes will be death to California jobs unless we lower them. Governor Wilson's talking about cutting your taxes. Good evening. I'm Terry Ray Elmer with the 7 o'clock news on KFI. He says those tax cuts should start next year. We'll tell you more after we check your traffic. Here's Megan Reyes in the KFI Traffic Center. Well, thank you, Terry Ray. We're still looking at some pretty slow traffic right now through the... Food, drug, and health stores. Use as directed. News you can use. When storms pound the Southland, KFI is the only talk station with local reporters wading through the water and mud to bring you the latest. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Southland weather from KFI, an urban and small stream flood advisory in effect through Tuesday afternoon and a flood cloudy in 59 as well. 56 at KFI. KFI news time is 7.08. KFI is the talk station that does news on the hour, on the half, and when it breaks. I'm Terry Ray Elmer, KFI News. The Stephanie Miller Show. Let's do it. By AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. It's the Stephanie Miller Show. Oh, it's Monday and I'm frothing. Aren't I, Scott? I'm frothing at the mouth. Oh, we have to talk about the OJ book this hour. I can't believe they're going to allow this. OJ Simpson writing a book. His profits, of course, will go to uh, paying for more of that defense. Unbelievable. 1-800-767-4KFI here in L.A. County. 5201KFI. Oh. Anyway. You know, I'm just listening to the news, though. What the hell's with Pete Wilson? What is he, like, rhyming? Now play that thing. This is from his speech. Hang on. To working Californians, we're saying the way to help make California an economic powerhouse is to lower the tax burden on your business and at your house. Well, it's not exactly a rhyme. It's the same word. I don't think that counts exactly. What is he channeling, Jesse Jackson? The boat house to the outhouse. We're going to go to the farmhouse to the. Uh. <laughs> is he turning into Dr. Seuss or what? I am Sam. Sam, I am. I like to eat green eggs and ham. Oh. Oh. I have chills. All right. Hey, in the meantime, uh, let's take a look at our other favorite news of the day, shall we, kids? All right. A blatant ripoff of Weekend Update from Saturday Night Live. But we changed the name to avoid a lawsuit. Here is Stand Up News with anchor person Stephanie Miller. Thank you. Give me 22 seconds. I'll give you a headache. Our top story. Well, this is exciting news. A miracle medical breakthrough just today. They have finally cured uh, one disease. It's very exciting. Scientists just today finally have found a cure for insomnia. Pete Wilson's speech. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pete. Thanks. Oh, God. Dozing off on the way here. Uh, I think if you look up droning in the dictionary, you see a picture of Pete Wilson. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are, are there like four speeches in politics and all the politicians just keep trading? Is that how it goes? Oh, here. Here. Did I do this one yet? Oh, you do that one now. Oh. Pretty much the same rhetoric. There was one little twist tonight, which I thought was fun. Sure, hang on. Here. The number one cause of death on death row should not be old age. Pete. Oh, excuse me. In fact, to prove how serious I am about this issue, I've decided to execute a prisoner right here on stage. <laughs> now that's entertainment. God, he's so macho. Oh, it's so great. Actually, you know what my favorite part of the speech was? <laughs> it's Terry Ray Elmer. Do you ever notice that, Scott? She's like the golf announcer. She has to keep saying our call letter. So anytime there's a lull in speech, you go, This is KFI AM 640. Wilson's getting ready to putt now. He's got an easy chip shot to the green. 
looks like she just kept sneaking in the back like Doug Llewellyn on the People's Court. This is KFI, AM 640. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. And hey, you know, all this, uh, you hoo ha ha over, uh, Newt Gingrich's mother and the B word and Connie Chung and all that. Well, I don't know if you've heard this. Is this amazing? Hillary Clinton invited Newt and his mother to the White House for a tour just to, I guess, uh, bury the hatchet. In fact, I believe she did that today, and, uh, the, yeah, the KFI hidden microphone was there. Sure, yeah. Hi, Nudie. Hi, Mrs. Gingrich. Welcome to the White House. Hi, how you doing, Hillary? Well, hello, Hillary. Lovely of you to have us. Nudie, why don't you wait here? I'd like to show your mother something down here in the basement. Well, all right. All right, dear. What is it? It's my powder room. Come right this way, Mrs. Gingrich. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> Mama? Hey, what's going on over here? Come on, you want a piece of me? Come on, fat boy, come on! And that's for Connie Chung. <laughs> Bitch! All right. And CBS executives apparently are worried that Connie Chung may be damaging her image with this latest flap. They're very, very concerned, apparently. Well, you know, she's having a bad week. I think we have the, uh, the clip from uh, Friday night CBS Evening News. Very embarrassing. Good evening. I'm Dan Rather, and welcome to the CBS Evening News. I I'm sorry, Connie. What was that you were saying just before we went on the air? I'm sorry, Dan, but I can't tell you. Oh, come on, Connie. Whisper it to me. Just between you and me. Well, all right. I said, Maury's shooting blanks. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, don't worry, I'll be glad to help you out. <laughs> oh, boy. And speaking of politicians, George and Barbara Bush celebrated, I believe, their 50th wedding anniversary at the uh, Grand Old Opry. I don't know, they did some country western thing. It just happened uh, last night. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, sure was. Happy anniversary, Barbara. <laughs> Love ya. <laughs> Ah, shut up, George, you friggin' bastard. Get over here, let's line dance. Not gonna do it. Not gonna dance. Wouldn't be prudent at this juncture. Ah, come on, you friggin' pussy. Let's do the two-step. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, let go of my neck. It's hurting me. Ah, oh, come on. Who loves ah, your baby? Ah, <laughs> ah, ah. And Michael Jackson's lawyer denied today reports in London tabloids of the existence of a 27-minute videotape reportedly showing the pop star engaging in inappropriate conduct with a teenage boy. Oh, my. Oh, Shannon. No, no, they showed it to several Catholic priests, and they said there was nothing inappropriate about it. So, <laughs> I, yeah, it's been screened vigorously. And Cher is in London uh, donating her services and picking up the tab for her large entourage while she films and records a special CD and video, Love Can Build a Bridge, benefiting a comic relief. Well, that's exciting, but not nearly as exciting as the movie she's doing for that new company. You know, David Geffen and uh, Steven Spielberg and uh, Jeffrey Katzenberg. Oh, yeah. Coming soon from Spielcast Productions, yes, it's Cher, the animated feature. Woo, yeah. I got you, babe. Yeah. What's up, Doc? Woo. Yes, it's Cher like you've never seen her before. Woo. Yeah, half braid. Woo! Yeah, I thought I saw a putty tad. Don't miss Cher, the human cartoon. Woo! Yeah, tramps, 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 and thieves. Woo! That's that, 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 all, folks. Uh, woo! Yeah. Coming soon to a theater near you. Cool. Senator Dianne Feinstein asked the Senate committee today to dismiss Michael Huffington's challenge of the election. Oh, yeah. Hi, this is Mike Huffington. Yeah, good idea, Di. I agree. Well, Dove Audio is putting out, I believe, an audio version of uh, the Pope's book. Pope John Paul II. Uh, the it's, uh, let's see, an audio format, a compilation of blessings... Read by Pope uh, John Paul II. Oh, I certainly hope they'll reiterate his stand on women priests, yeah. Read my lips. No 
freaking chicks. We out of here. Mm. You know, he already has that CD-ROM out. I swear to God, the Pope on CD-ROM. Now that is cool. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, 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 thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Heaven, 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 heaven. Cool. That's all for stand-up news. I'm here all week. <laughs> Hands look so rad, isn't he? God, he's so cool. All right. Yeah. Oh, I just, when did I, Faith, when did I start frothing? Was it Friday they talked about the OJ book? The news first hit? Oh, I've been frothing all weekend. When I'm not putting buckets down in the middle of my house. My roof is leaking. Although, you know, last week I was bitching because my patio furniture is in my pool. And then I started, you know, I put it in perspective. Like, you know, there's people getting killed every day in Bosnia. Oh, my God, my lawn chair is at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> not exactly big on the list of tragedies in the world. Anyway, the O.J. Simpson book has me in a lather. I can't, you know, I mean, obviously there's, I guess what they're saying, the rule that, uh, you know, convicted criminals cannot benefit. They're, I guess they're saying, in, in effect, they'd have to give the money back if he is convicted. Yeah, right. Like, they're going to be able to claw it out of Robert Shapiro's dead, bloody hands. I don't think so. They'll never get it out of his hands once he has it. Should O.J. Simpson be allowed to release this book? Apparently, it's uh, responding to all these letters he's gotten. And it's going to talk about the domestic abuse, his side of it. <laughs> yeah. At any rate... I mean, it's going to basically pay for more of this defense. Before we, uh, yeah, you know, there's been a trial. I, I think this is absolutely dead wrong. I can't believe legally he can be, uh, before the trial, he can put a book out. What do you think? 1-800-767-4KFI here in L.A. County, 5201KFI on the Stephanie Miller Show on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk radio. Let's check some track and traffic. Huh? Hello. With Megan Ray. Well, thank you very much, How do you Stephanie? say your name? How do you say your last name? Uh, Reyes. Reyes. <laughs> Megan Reyes in the KFI Traffic Center. Well, thank you very much. We do have some slow traffic right now through the... We have a plan to keep you smiling. What are your bad habits that irritate others right now? Marilyn Kagan, tonight at 9 p.m. on KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk radio. Stephanie Miller. <laughs> Do you know how popular I am? I'm so popular. Everybody loves me so much. That's so pathetic. Will you stop playing that? <laughs> KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk radio. It's the Stephanie Miller Show. That's going to be me in just a few months. Be lying out here on Wilshire. All right. All right. Thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> I, you know, I just want to, I think, I just Friday we talked about, uh, oh, you know, the defense defining, uh, you know, O.J. beating his wife senseless as domestic discord. <sighs> oh, and how uh, Cochran was saying that's not relevant to a murder trial. What color is the is the sky in your world, Johnny? Uh, but I, you know, this is just beyond me. Now, if I I don't understand, maybe if there's some attorneys out there listening, you can tell me why this doesn't fall under the uh, the rule. Well, I know he's not a convicted criminal yet, but convicted criminals obviously can't uh, profit from their crimes. Well, yes, there hasn't been a trial yet. Can you believe this? He, uh, they say this book is responding to the over 300,000 letters he's gotten. But you know, it's going to be a defense. It's going to be him putting it out to the public before there's even a trial. Uh, you know, it says he addresses the uh, domestic abuse. <laughs> what was that? I, I, what was that? Oh, yeah, he's going to have that. What was that the last time? He said the time that, uh, you know, he was convicted of battering, that it was just a mutual wrestling type altercation. You know, the kind that women always have with six foot, five foot football players. A mutual wrestling type altercation. <clears throat> uh, I, I think this is outrageous that he would be allowed. I mean, I already think 
this trial is a perfect example of how uh, there is not justice in this country. There's different justice, obviously, for the rich and the poor. Can already afford a defense a zillion times better than, the, than most people. And basically, this book, we're funding more of this defense. And I don't understand how I know someone made the comment, well, yes, if he is convicted, then somehow the money would have to be paid back. But hello, how do you do that if it goes to the lawyers? They're going to give it back? I don't think so. Is there one instance in the history of the world, Scott, have you ever heard of a lawyer giving money back? I don't think so. Like, you know, Madonna not sleeping with someone on the first date. You know, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, a lawyer's going to give the money back. Oh, man. This is just unreal, and people will buy this stupid thing. I mean, should a, should a defendant get to present, basically, his defense? To the public? I mean, they're trying this case in the public anyway. I think this is unreal. 1-800-767-4KFI. If you're right here in L.A. County, 5201KFI. Let's go to Kathy in West Covina. Welcome to KFI, Kath. Hi. Hi. What do you say? Well, I say if you think that's bad, I think his new number. I heard they're getting a 1-900 number for people to call in and for three ninety nine a minute. They can get all the updates. Oh, really? Uh huh. They can get updates on the trial. Updates on the trial. They have bought the number. The attorneys have. Well, you know, there's a there's a new thing now called newspapers that we have. Also, you know, radio and television is a new invention that people can use. Oh no, they'd rather have <laughs> no three ninety nine lawyers talk to them. I guess. Oh, I see. You get the inside scoop from uh, Shapiro. Yeah. As to, uh, as and it'll to... only cost you three ninety nine a minute. Oh, as to like which Armani suit he's wearing that day and that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Inside information. Yeah. All right, Kat. Thanks for calling. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Bye bye. It has gotten really crass and commercial and gross, hasn't it? Has Fox's movie been on yet? That's gonna be you know a. That's gonna be a real exercise in class. I think we have the promo for that. Hang on. Here we go. Coming soon to Fox. It's OJ the movie. Starring Heather Locklear as Nicole Simpson. Get out, OJ. I'm calling 119. And Andrew Dice Clay as OJ. Hickory dickory dock, Nicole. What are you doing, sucking his freaky? Stephanie? Oh, yeah, Mr. Hall. In my office, right after your show. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to uh, Al in Long Beach. First time KFI. Welcome, Al. That was funny. <laughs> yeah. God. Well, you're obviously... We, we, got to have some be able to laugh at this because it's just killing us watching us every day on tv yeah isn't it though right but can you believe this again can you believe this oh man hey i can't believe what johnny cochran said the other day he goes abuse is not murder he said oh yeah, yeah he said i don't think all that is he, abuse he said i don't think all that stuff is relevant this is a murder trial <sighs> hello I mean, really? I mean, you know, I, I back in college, I took a packaging and design class, advanced studies, in upper division, uh -huh. and they said, in order to to win the presidency in the United States, all you have to do is have good packaging and design. The best mm. looking man always wins. Mm, yeah, it's true. And see, that's what they're trying to do. The guys, you know, they're trying to sell looks here and everything. I think it's true. I think it, but I mean, I don't understand this. Do you know how this can fall? How this cannot? I don't know that this has ever been done before, where a convict is, or you know, excuse me, an accused criminal has written a book before the yeah, trial yeah, and, ju and just think stephanie if they get away with it and he walks and everything this yeah. is going to set a president for anybody famous yeah exactly but what i'm objecting to is i don't think well, we should contribute it to uh you know funding this guy's defense when he already has millions of dollars you know i, I know the legal defense system is so busy you know getting other people it doesn't protect itself yeah i agree being abused thanks for calling al bye bye, -bye. i mean I, I can't stand this have you even heard people going, oh, poor O.J.? Oh, he needs help with his legal bills. Poor O.J. Yeah, how about, I don't know. How about poor Nicole, poor Ron? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. He didn't do it. And maybe the lawyers will give the money back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lee in La Mesa, first time KFI. Welcome, Lee. It's pretty amazing how liberal Democrats like yourself are the first ones to scream about people's rights, and then you turn right around and say, should he be allowed to write a book? Well, of course he should be allowed to write the book. Any of the money, this isn't Nazi Germany. Lee, there is a law saying convicted criminals cannot profit off their crimes. We don't know if he's guilty yet. He, he hasn't been convicted yet. Yes, but what if he is? How and at that time, you can deal with your stupid... 
stupid laws. And you're ooh, stupid people ooh. who make the stupid laws. But until then, uh -huh. you're not going to have any book burnings. If you don't like the damn book, don't burn it. But uh -huh. don't try to stop the people who do. I'm not, look, I stood up for Newt Gingrich and his stupid book deal. It's not a question of somebody can't write a book. Wait, I'm minute, saying... You opened, up, you opened this, this show up by saying... Should he be allowed to do that? Because he might be a convicted murderer soon. That's what I'm saying, and they're not going to get the money back. That's a bunch of crap, and you know it, Lee. And what would you do? What would you do if you were the queen of this country? Would you? Well, as a matter of fact, I am the queen of do? all media, and you know what I'm going to do first of all? Here's my first official act. All right. I'm going to banish you from the kingdom. <laughs> you know, that guy has not washed his jockey strap in two years because he thinks flies are lucky. 1-800-767-4KFI here in L.A. County, 5201KFI on the Stephanie Miller Show. O.J. Simpson, yes, should he be allowed? In case you haven't checked, he's in jail. Should be allowed to, to, to write this book and sell this book telling his side, which will help fund his defense even further. I don't think so. Until we know one way or another. If he's not Guilty, fine. If he gets off, yes, he can write a book. I want to know what you think. Right now on the Stephanie Miller Show on KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. Let's check some news with Terry Ray Elmer in the KFI News Center. I'm thinking that lost caller didn't have a date this weekend. What do you think? I, I seems a little bit frustrated, doesn't he? <laughs> he seems a little bit uptight. 